Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new Rapunzel designer doll released as a part of the Ultimate Princess Celebration Collection. Here you have some information from the designer about what inspired um, the doll and the design. You can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read any of those. So Rapunzel is the 10th doll released in the series. If you'd like to see a review for any of the previous nine dolls, I will put the links below on the description of this video. Um, so there's only really two more dolls that we know of in the collection left. It's Cinderella and Belle. And there's supposed to be three dolls that we still don't know what the characters are. It could be a different version of any of the princesses we already have. It could be Elsa and Anna plus another character. It could be Megara, Alice. Who knows? Might not even be a princess. Might be D23 exclusive. Might just be regular release. We literally have no information. Hopefully they'll tell us something soon. So in this review, we're going to go ahead, get her out of the box, get rid of that flower in her head because I'm really not a fan of it and all that good stuff. So let's get started. First up, we have the box and it's a purple color, has a shine to it with a little, a little bit of black like the rest of them. It says designer collection on the top, ages six and up, and we have the little uh, sunflower that we have been seeing, or the sun, I guess, for Rapunzel. We have a flower on this side as well. And it says designer collection, limited edition, one out of 90, 800. So, you know, quite a big amount again, just like pretty much all of the other dolls in the series. On the back of the box, we have again, the little logos assigned for her in gold. And we have a picture of the designer. <laughs> That's a cute picture with all the hats. And then we have the ultimate princess celebration logo. And you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read any of this here. It's in several languages. And again, the retail price is not on the box, but it is $129.99. When you open the windows of the box, you have the certificate of authenticity on this side. And you can see my limited edition number right there. And it's in another language in the back in French. On the other side, we have the little pamphlet for the designer. Go ahead and take the plastic off camera. And in the front, we have a picture of um, her tower, which is in the back of the box, you know, the in the background, and a picture of the designer. And then on the other side, we have the little sketch that they did. And again, the picture of the designer. Now, her box is really pretty. The actual plastic has the lanterns on it. It's a nice touch in gold. So before I go ahead and take her out of the box, I always like to give you a quick look at what she looks like in it, the way that she's displayed, and the background of the box, which again, it's the tower with all the lanterns, and it's a really beautiful background for her. Um, maybe it should have been a little bit darker just so that she could stand out more, uh, but I think it works. She looks beautiful. The way that she's displayed pretty much takes up the entire box, which is really nice. And definitely, who doesn't love um, the lantern scene, right? So it's nice that it's in there. And here she is magically out of the box, and we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at everything, take her off it off, and do all of that stuff. First up, we're taking a closer look at her purse. It's her accessory, and it's actually really funny because the designer said that it's inspired by Maximus, the horse, and you can kind of see it with the little tail and the color and the little bell in the front. It's all hard plastic, and it has this little chain attached to it that's uh, silver. And that's actually, you know, made out of metal, painted silver. Next up, we're taking a closer look at her beautiful face. And in my opinion, this is the same face sculpt as the current classic doll. Love the profile for her. Um, the only difference is that on, on the classic one, they have to paint the lashes. And on this one, they're rooted. So since they don't have to paint them, it makes the eyes look bigger. And I just love it. Also, they're very green. The green color that they chose for them, it's perfection. They stand out so much with all of the pink floors of the dress. I love it. I also love the eyeliner. It's like a gold and pink. The rooted lashes are short, they're not too long, and she has freckles with a little bit of blush and the pink lips. Really, really pretty. Uh, she also has these plastic earrings. You can try and take them off, but they have like the plastic inside to, you know, keep them in there. It's just like a little flower, right, with a um, purple dot, I guess, in the middle. When it comes to her hair, she has a high ponytail, and the hair in the front is parted, and it goes all the way to the back, and it attaches to the ponytail, which the ponytail itself has rubber bands and hair wrapped around it. The hair, it's curly, blonde. It's actually 
even though it has a lot of gel, it's actually pretty soft. And if you were to pull it, you can see that it's pretty much as long as the entire doll is. It reaches her feet. However, because it's Rapunzel, it should definitely be longer, but it is very pretty and the quality is really nice. Then you can see the back part. And she's wearing this floral hair fixture, which has been the topic in the, in the topic of town. People have described it as many things that I will not name here, but it is a floral fixture and you can go ahead and take it off really easily. I'm going to do it off camera though. And it's actually a headband. Here you can see what she looks like with it. Very nice. She's serving Ariana, Megara, really pretty without the floral fixture. And you can actually put it right back if you wanted to. You can put it a little uh, more to the back of the head, which I think looks better. You can put it as a belt <laughs> if you wanted to, a necklace, an arm piece. You could do whatever you want with the floor. I think I'm just going to not use it for her because um, I'm just not a huge fan of it. You see it's little flowers attached to this like ball of fabric and it's a plastic headband. The little flowers are really pretty. You can maybe take them out and use them for something. I have no idea. Now we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the outfit while it's on the doll before we go ahead and remove it. She has a gem studded, studded bodice and skirt overlay, a textured satin belt with bow. She has all over pale flower print with glittering accents, which is the little rhinestones. She has a lot of embroidered flowers on there and they're like a metallic color to them. And this is a look from the back of the, um, the back of the doll, the back of the dress. And as you can see, we have the same pattern of uh, the rhinestones, the print, and the rhinest and the embroidery going all the way to the back of the dress. Before we remove the outfit, I want to show you quickly that the stand is the same as all of the others in the collection. And we have the signature of the designer right on the bottom part in gold. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the belt, which is a separate piece on its own. Uh, but it is attached there with a little tag and I'm going to leave it because I actually like the way that the ribbon falls. And that's why I'm not messing with it. But here you can see it. It's really nice. It's a satin bow. And now we're going to go ahead and take off the outfit. But if you wanted to take out the bow, you can see that she actually looks really good without it. You know, that's an option for you if you wanted to explore such option. Now here she is already with no outfit. And now we're taking a closer look at her shoes which are described as metallic shoes with the leaf decoration. Of course, they're plastic, but they're painted in a metallic color. It's a dark green with silver leaves with a little bit of gold. And the designer was actually inspired to make them green to represent Pascal, which is a really nice touch that he's here in spirit with Rapunzel. And here we have the dress, the gown, which in my opinion, I love the design of this, um, this dress, right? The silhouette. It is very like Little House in the Prairie and um, Tea Party. I think Alice would wear this in blue. I just really love the design of the dress. I absolutely love it. I love the layers to it. Again, it has a lot of layers of chiffon and tulle, which make it, you know, give it that shape that it has, that silhouette that is not moving at all, right? It's like shaped this way. It's beautiful. There's a lot of layers here. There's like three layers of tulle. Now, I love the floral print on it as well. We have purple flowers, white ones, and pink. Uh, the ones that are in embroidery are actually like a metallic uh, pink color. And there's a lot of them all around the dress. I see there's like three more layers here. That's the bottom, the inside of the dress. And I love the back, the back part. I love how it drapes. It's kind of like a train. It is attached there, by the way, which gives it this like shape, right? in the butt area <laughs> and I just love it. I love the design. I think it's just really pretty. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions on it, but overall I think the dress is beautiful and it is something that she would definitely wear. Alrighty, everybody. So that is all for today. Let me know what you think of Rapunzel in the comments. Remember she is available on shopdisney.com. In my opinion, when I first saw the stock photos, I was not a huge fan and I think it was the flower in the head that was throwing me off. But once you get rid of that, you can really appreciate how beautiful her hair, her eyes, the colors of the dress, the silhouette. I just think that she's beautiful. Again, let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.